Good morning. Uh, this is uh, a bit of a good, the bad, and the ugly. This is um, just drawing the curtains and and staggering out. Uh, Bridget's already been up for a period of time as she's already taken uh, Caitlin to the train station. So this is um, this is the morning. So uh, hello. <laughs> um, yes, it's a bit of a cooler day today, and um, one of my favourite times of the morning is breakfast so um let's get into it this is also something quite common in the morning is seeing the debris from the dog from the night before before we tidy up that is a bits of tennis ball uh which we'll probably find um, everywhere she seems to absolutely love chewing up tennis balls for some reason <laughs> And uh, the day generally starts off having to clean up the mess that the dogs created. That's uh, pretty normal, unfortunately, but that's just how it is with little puppies. Uh, anyway, just want to introduce you. This is Bridget. Uh, some of you have met her. She's my wonderful woman. And here's the family. Um, we don't tend to get many photos together. Um, the fur babies. So Bear, the, um, the infamous... German Shepherd and um, yeah he's just a bit of a dick a lot of the time um, but uh, overall he's pretty good he's about eight years old now I think uh, and then we've got Roxy the absolute mental uh, miniature fox terrier and then we've got Dash not many people see Dash he tends to hang out on the bed that's pretty much what he does day in day out um, and uh, whenever Roxy gets the opportunity, she will grab her tennis ball, make a hell of a mess, wrap herself up in a blanket, and have some fun. Um, yeah, just on to some of my interests. Lock sport, that's something of which I, uh, I enjoy very much. Um, it's, like, it's like a puzzle. You can't see the answer. You've got to try and work it out. It's really interesting. I quite enjoy that. Uh, and uh, cardistry. Cards I've loved for years. Uh, it's just something I've really gotten into um, more recently is just trying to understand there's the manipulation of cards um, So there's the dexterity and then there's also a way of trying to shuffle cards uh, While actually keeping them in order. So uh, yeah, there's quite a bit that goes on there uh, Learning how to do flips trying to just get a little bit of acrobatics going on. So there's yeah, there's some interesting things there It's uh, certainly been a bit of an interest and a bit tough uh, and uh, some of you know as well, I've done some um, movie stuff, nothing terribly spectacular, but uh, there's me on the far, far left. Uh, most recently ended up doing a, uh, some time on Wellington Paranormal, so I appeared in I think two or three episodes of that. This was actually, although it wasn't the last episode, it was actually the last episode ever filmed. So that was really quite novel, just standing there being a policeman. That was... Uh, yeah, really tough. But anyway, it was really quite neat meeting everybody. It was really cool. Um, and last thing here is nine... What is it? Well, actually, 19 years. I've been teaching Wing Chun for 19 years. Started that in 1999. Uh, here we go for walks every single day. 3K we go. Takes us about 45 minutes. Now, here is one of these properties I've uh, mentioned in the past. It uh, doesn't look great at first glance. Uh, so this was my first walkthrough with um, asbestos, potential asbestos in the lino, um, cracks in the walls, it's not looking uh, terribly wonderful. There's, uh, it's a 130 meter squared, five bedroom property in Batoni. Um, it's amazing location on Jackson Street. Uh, it, like it's got so much going for it, but at the same time, particularly uh, those floors, those are amazing floors. Um, but yet it, uh, yeah, it needed uh, to be freshened up a wee bit. They've even got in the laundry, which you'll see shortly, the original concrete tubs. Those things, cheapest. Anyway, this is sort of what we did to make it look a little bit nicer, a bit of staging. Uh, also got a building inspection to just put into context. You can see there you've got some stains on the walls, but those stains are cosmetic because the windows have all been um, redone and are all double glazed and, and all lovely now. So. Yeah, that's uh, very necessary. Uh, there's five major jobs that we have in real estate, which is uh, prospecting, which is actually trying to create leads. That's actually a major job. 
obviously there's listing, the negotiation part of it, uh, and then we've uh, got selling the deal, obviously writing it all up, and keeping the deal together. These are all real intricate parts of real estate, uh, but one of the major parts is that creating the leads, prospecting, major part of our five jobs that we have to do. Uh, the other thing we have to got to do is just stay ahead of the market. We've got to know what's happening in the market. Uh, lunchtime. Um, yeah, out and about. It was uh, interesting. At an open home, this happened. Well, it actually happened just before I got there. There was glass on the floor. This thing popped. It hadn't been put together properly. Very interesting. Um, yeah, it would go out and do appraisals in various different places. But one of the major things is actually looking at market stats. So here's some market stats very quickly for you. Uh, yes, a lot of uh, real estate is the admin sitting behind doing the boring stuff. And that's stats oftentimes. 1st of uh, January this year, there were 287 listings on TradeMe. 1st of Feb, there were 359. 1st of uh, March, we had 399. Uh, the 1st of April, we had 414. As of today, the 10th of April... 431s, we're up 144 listings from the beginning of the year. Yes, uh, October last year, I managed to have an accident and uh, tall ligaments in my foot looked pretty ugly. At one point, it looked like fat bastard's foot. It was not very nice. And uh, it was, yeah, pretty immobilizing on crutches. And this is me staggering up the stairs after, uh, breathless after just only walking a K. So my way of trying to uh, fix this, heal up, going to physio, etc., is actually trying to be incredibly proactive. I uh, looked into parkour, which I found incredibly useful for learning how to jump and learning how to land. So that's what I did a lot of. I did a lot of jumping and a lot of landing. Uh, it was really good. Um, so yeah, some exercises in that. Um, of which I found incredibly useful. Uh, it's pushed me. Um, it's been difficult, but um, we're getting there. It's not done yet, but yes. Anyway, by the way, thumbs up to these. Delicious. Well, look at that. Can't really see it terribly well. It was a bit glary, but um, just back from the gym and uh, stunning weather. I'm loving this. I um, Long may this last. This is, this is how April should be. Um, Anyway, yeah, just back from the gym, Bridget's out doing what she spends most of her time doing, and um, which is driving Caitlin around. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just a good time to take a, just a breath before I go and make a, a protein shake and get back into it again, get into the other bits of it. But uh, now that time of day where I just need to do lots of calls and just tidy up the rest of, um, the, rest of the day, really. Uh, so... Yeah, yesterday was open home day, so that means that uh, today is following up on all that. Uh, so email out all the information, follow them up, uh, see how, how where the interest levels are. Uh, there's three different things which I tend to work on, which is follow up, follow through, and follow back. So following up is literally just, hey, just follow up on people who have come through. It is uh, literally people come through the open home, make sure that they get a phone call, they get an email, they get a text, whatever it is that they've uh, suggested that they need. Uh, follow through is literally just doing what you say you're going to do, um, which is integrity. And follow back, this is where, to me, it's actually uh, looking after the people who, who have missed out. These are the buyers who uh, either aren't interested or it could be uh, vendors who are uh, choosing not to list with you right now. But it's always just stay in touch, stay in touch, stay in touch. That's, uh, that's the name of the game. Part of the reason why I do the uh, newsletter is just to try and stay in touch with people. I, uh, I do often think about who my ideal client would be, and ideal client would be someone whom wouldn't mess with my dinner. No, it uh, would be someone whom uh, has repeat business, someone who, who sells a lot or does a lot of different things. Uh, so yes, this brings me to Wing Chun. Wing Chun, I do that twice a week, have done started Wing Chun all the way back in 19... 99 have been teaching it now for 19 years so it's been a long 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 time um and uh yeah i would say there's a huge amount of benefits to it i love it um yeah as i say i've certainly taught like hundreds of people maybe even up to thousands it's it's one of those things but uh it's certainly a part of my blood and um yeah we'll continue to do it until i'm old just got home from training it's the end of a long day i hope you guys have a great one good night